Hey everyone, um, thanks again for checking back. If you are new, thanks for checking my channel. So today I'm going to share with you how to use it for aftermarket movers or aftermarket gappers. So the reason for that is some people are interested in some movers that are running after hours which will probably or most likely continue to run in the next day before opening or after opening but that's why after hours is very important especially if you're a swing trader you want to buy something or you want to get into something after hours before everyone else for the next day when the market opens that's the whole purpose of yeah basically using after hours scanners or you can trade after hours if you're not uh comfortable holding on to something for next day but that's one of the reason i'm using this scanner all right so let's jump into uh think or swim if you have it already you see on top here there are options again since we want to scan we will choose scan tab and once the scan tab is open since we are going to just look at the stock movers after hours you click on the stock hack and here we try to use the filter in order to put our criteria all right so by pressing the criteria or filter we want to do stocks and this first thing is here you go so last don't ask me why they this is used for the price so if you are looking for any movers and any price you put your minimum price here i want more than one dollar i don't want to deal with any penny stock even dollar is penny stock but to be safe i want to use those and usually small guys moving a lot so unless you are there is a big news but uh, usually lower price from one dollar to let's say fifteen dollar can move a lot after hours or that's what my uh criteria is you can choose any number you want so that's first option we're gonna add another filter stock again the more volume means more liquidity and more liquidity means more people are or more traders are looking at something so let's say i want something that has moved 10 or 100,000 at least in volume but sometimes it's hard to catch those let's say 10,000 and I'll show you why and maximum whatever <clears throat> so uh, we want a minimum 10,000 volume and also another filter we want it at least 5% move after hours and these are the three main criteria that i choose you could add many or narrow it down as much as you want but these are the one i usually choose and that's it so and then i'm gonna go to study one more thing if you are on the uh the simulation or paper trading account you won't be able to choose these three okay these are only for a live account just so you know in case you didn't know but uh, yeah that's uh you click on a study and here is what we are going to use so we want to choose after hours present change so this is why we want to choose and then we wanted to choose greater than this after our percentage is closed which means after market code has moved greater than here you want to use percentage as i did up there i put five percent 
but we can do this too just to make sure and then you check mark or check this uh, extension hour, uh, extended hour and if you want to really narrow it down one minute two minute depending on what chart you're looking at i think one minute would be perfect so and then you click on a scan remember when before i do a lot had so much less in here but these are the result and these are the result happen after hours today so this percentage change is the after hours so once you finish your scan as you can see the result here now we want to be able to click on those and see them on chart and so you can trade or whatever you want to look at it the move and whatnot so in order to do that we have to save our scanner and uh looking at it or checking it out on the watch list so as you see i already had it named and you just save that's it since i already saved it i'm going to my watch list on here and then i load right there after hours i put five percent change you can do this and it'll be showing up here and then you can go on your chart click on it look at it you can see it in level two if i look at the volume you can tell which one are the most active one that's where you want to be and plus always check the news right let's say let's say you want to trade something and you're curious to see why this thing is going up high you can check the news and always look at the time frame of the news so make sure you're not looking at something that is moving without any news i mean things can move with you know with any reason depending on what happened in the day but I usually want to focus on something that has a fresh news, especially if it's the first day running. So that's why you want to look at the one that has a good news and then you can see why, uh, what is the reason for that catalyst that is moving. So what is a catalyst? If the catalyst and news is really uh, good and positive, then it is good to go and basically take position so of course whenever you take position make sure you're doing your risk management but that's a different topic anyway that was how you get to your watch list so i hope you guys enjoyed that video and it was uh useful and valuable to you and if you liked it please go ahead and uh smash that like button and thumbs up for me as well as if you enjoying this kind of video and you want more video for think or seven or any platform that might be interested uh just leave a comment below and let me know and i would definitely make a video about it and up until next time hopefully i'll see you again in my next video